Tilapia cage culture is now a flourishing industry in the towns and barrios of Rizal and Laguna. The technology has spread to lakes Buhi and Bato in the Bicol region and to Lake Buluan and other lakes in Mindanao. The availability of fast-growing tilapia milotica fingerlings and cheap local materials for cage fabrication have tremendously increased tilapia production, thereby providing another source of protein to improve the Filipino diet. Tilapia nilotica can reproduce in both water and land-based hatcheries like rice paddies, earthen ponds, hapa, and concrete tanks. The most efficient method to spawn tilapia is in concrete tanks, but it involves big capital and operational expenses. In Laguna Lake, the most common method of seed propagation is the use of fine meshed hapa measuring 3 by 5 by 1.5 meters arranged in a row or two, supported by a minimum of four bamboo poles per spawning hapa. It has been proven and accepted by fish farmers that propagation of tilapia seeds can be done successfully in hapa cages. In installing the cage module, Construct each bamboo cell in a module in such a way that it is bigger by one half meter than the hapa cage. Tie the fabricated hapa cages to the bamboo posts with the rim of the hapa about one half meter above the water level. As soon as the hapas have been properly installed, stock them with well selected tilapia nilotica breeders at the rate of four females per square meter with a sex ratio of one male to four females. This means that the hatchery hapa is stocked with 60 females and 15 well-selected males. Give supplementary feed to breeders when natural feed in the lake is scarce. Feed each spawner with hog grower pellets at the rate of 5% of the body weight per day. In the absence of commercially formulated feed in the market, Specifically for spawning tilapia nilotica, hatchery operators in Laguna Lake commonly use the broiler starter crumbles. However, some of them make use of the fish pellets which is commercially available in the market. The breeders are given feed at the rate of 5% of the bulk weight. Feed is given daily, one half in the morning and the other half in the afternoon. Harvesting of fry and or fingerlings is done every 15 days. During harvest, raise one side of the hapa so that the animals will be confined to the other side. Scoop first the fry or fingerlings. Transfer the breeders to one side, which is lowered to the water level. The scoop used to transfer the breeders is a net with at least a mesh size of one half inch to allow the passage of fry or fingerlings. Sort the harvested fry or fingerlings and stock them in a nursery hapa. Each size category is stocked in a separate hapa or net like A net or B net. There are many kinds of nets that could be used for cage fabrication. The most common types of nets for growing tilapia fingerling to marketable size in cages are the B net, 1 4th inch mesh, DD net, 3 8th inch mesh, and CC net, 1 half inch mesh. However, the most popular is the B net for cage fabrication because of its several advantages over the others. Each cage is fabricated with different sizes that range from 50 to 200 square meters. Construct bamboo modules to fit the desired size of the cage inside the cell. Arrange each module in such a way that the middle portion is kept vacant to prevent stunting of stocked fish located at the middle of the modular area. To expose the fish to favorable conditions, construct the module along the perimeter of the occupied area. The cages may or may not be covered. Without cover, the rim of the cage should be one meter above the water level, while the covered cage should be tied to the bamboo poles just enough for the rim to be on the level with the water. 
stock tilapia fingerlings of high quality in cages. These fingerlings are those that should reach marketable size in 90 to 120 days of culture period. In Bunot Lake, San Pablo City, tilapia farmers use floating cages using bamboos as floaters. Cages measuring 20 by 25 by 8 meters are stocked with 50,000 fingerlings from August to February. The same size of cages are stocked with 25,000 fingerlings during the dry season. Inspect cages for go out daily, usually in the morning. Protect cages without covers from floating debris, especially water hyacinth, by putting up barricades. Harvesting is done by raising the cage starting from one end towards the other end. This is to confine the fish in the corner. They are then scooped and loaded into a harvesting boat and are brought to the market. Considering the big potentials of tilapia cage culture in providing food, employment, and improving the quality of life of the rural population, it is envisioned that this fish farming industry will expand in the coming years and provide benefits to more people. Thank <laughs> you.